So, so some of you are going to come and join me at the front so we can um, talk about Joseph. <laughs> yes, you have to come up and join me. <laughs> going to hear about Joseph today. I bet you you've heard the story of Joseph Lotz, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh. Well, uh, we're going to just hear a little bit. Have you heard the story of Joseph? Joseph had a bunch of, um, a bunch of brothers and and also, also, I think a whole bunch of sisters too, but the sisters don't get mentioned in the, in the Bible story, but the brothers do. Because Joseph was kind of the favorite brother of all. He wasn't the oldest brother, but he was the one that his uh, dad, Jacob, really liked. And so they, he kept on getting presents and special treatment and everything from his dad, which the other brothers really didn't like at all. And one day Joseph was sent out to uh, take them lunch where they were working, the other older brothers. And when they saw him coming, they just got very angry. And they decided they didn't like the way Joseph was being treated better than them. And so there was a, a caravan going by, a bunch of people who were taking some goods and they were going to deliver them to Egypt. And so the brothers gave Joseph to the caravan and the caravan took him away and then when he got when they got home and uh, and his father said where um where's joseph they said well um joseph has died um and we buried him out in the desert so uh, so father grieved and um and the brothers were finally rid of joseph and Joseph was taken to um, Egypt. And then through a whole bunch of different um, events that happened, Joseph ended up to be a very powerful man in Egypt. And um, he, was, uh, in, he ended up being in charge of all of the food stores because he predicted that there was gonna be a big famine. So he made sure there was enough for people to eat, but not too much for them to eat. And then all of the rest of the food he stored until um, he, uh, expecting the famine that was gonna come. And a famine is when there is no food, when they, there's a drought and then the food can't be grown. And so there was no food to be had except what was in the stores, uh, in, the, in the warehouses that uh, Joseph had gathered them into. And then, um, there was a great famine all over the place, including uh, in Israel where Jacob, his father, and all of his brothers and sisters lived. There was a great famine there. And they were hungry, they had no food. And then one day, somebody said, go to Egypt, there's food there. So, um, Jacob said to his, uh, to, to the, his sons, Go to Egypt together and see if you can get some food there. So they set off for Egypt and they weren't thinking anything particularly about it, about Joseph or anything like that, but they got to Egypt and um, they asked, where, do we, where could we find some food? And, uh, and the people said, well, go talk to the man who's in charge. He'll give you some. So they came into the uh, room where Joseph was and as soon as they came in, Joseph knew that they were his brothers. So what, you can't see these, what are they called, emojis? Okay, you can't see these emojis, but you'll have to just guess. So, when Joseph saw his brothers, what kind of face did he have, do you suspect? That's the one I'd pick too. He was surprised when he saw them. And then what did he feel? What, what other face would he have? That one maybe, yeah. And then what did he, why would he have that one? Why would he be angry? I think he would be angry too. He'd see them and then he'd remember that they 
gave him away to be taken uh, to be taken far away, and had to be angry about that. But at the same time, what other? I think he'd be sad too, yeah, because um, because of what they did. I think he'd also be happy to see his brothers because it's been a long time since he's seen anybody in his family. He hadn't had anything to do with them. All of a sudden, there were all of his brothers. But I think the anger was the one that came up. And um, he said, uh, he said to them, well, first of all, I, I, he turned away so they couldn't see his face because he started to cry. But he turned away until he stopped crying, and then he turned back to them, and he was feeling that anger, and he says, I think you're just a bunch of spies who have come here to, uh, to uh, find out, uh, to, to steal the food and, and stuff. And the brothers said, Oh, no, we aren't spies. Our father said we should come and... Uh, see if we could get some food. And then he, when, he, when they said his, uh, that his father should send them, what did he feel? What kind of face did he have then? I think you're right. I think uh, he'd be happy to know that his father was still alive. And he asked if there were any other brothers or sisters there. And he found out that his younger brother, Benjamin, was there too. And... Um, he was excited about that. And then he said to them, I'm Joseph, the younger brother that you sent away. And what kind of face did the brothers have? Uh... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> First of all, there was an uh of surprise, and then it was an uh of what happens next. And, <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I go? <laughs> right. <laughs> Except they couldn't, because they had to take some food back to uh, to Israel to the family. And Joseph said, "Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything. I'm so glad to see you, and I want you to go and um, tell my father to come too, so that I can see the whole family and bring Benjamin too." So they went back to. Um, Israel and they went to Jacob and they said the man who we saw in Egypt who has control of all the food is your son uh, Joseph what kind of face did Joseph did uh, Jacob have because he probably knew who exactly did it ah uh, probably that's right he had a real growl on his face so he well not not first of all, I, hung, I bet that first of all he had a surprised look on his face because he thought that uh, Joseph was dead. <coughs> and uh, then a happy face to know that he was alive. And then you're right, a growly face. Then, because they probably had to confess what they'd done. Uh, and then, yeah, he probably ought to let their ground they're grounded, but not until after they went to Egypt, because <laughs> they had to take them back to see Joseph. So there was a big family reunion, and everybody was, which face? Happy. I think everybody was happy. The important thing about this story is that um, Joseph was the one who was in control uh, and he could have done anything that he wanted with those brothers. I mean, he could have thrown them in jail. He could have even probably had them killed if he decided that that's what he wanted to do. And I hunch that some of those thoughts went through his, uh, his uh, mind when he first saw them. I mean, he hadn't seen his family for years and it was because of what they did. So I hunch he was really uh, kind of angry and wanted to pay them back. But he soon changed his mind. Yeah, he could probably easily have been killed because he was an acquaintance with the Pharaoh. That's right. He was, a, he was an acquaintance with the Pharaoh. So he was uh, very close to the one who was in charge. But he decided to, what did he do instead of getting angry at them? Um, I think what happened was he gave them 
them a home on like the outskirts of Egypt. He gave them a home there where they were close to him and they had lots of food. He forgave them. He said, what you did was wrong and I can't, uh, and, and, it's a, and it'll never be right what you did. But I forgive you and from now on, we're gonna start over again and uh, we're gonna learn to live together and love each other. So they became a happy family. And you know what else I hope happened? I hope that uh, Jacob learned his lesson too and decided to treat all the brothers equally so there wasn't any jealousy. That would be another good ending to the story too, wouldn't it? Well, so it's time for you uh, to go off to uh, your, your activities at your school and we're going to stay here and, um, and uh, talk some more about uh, forgiveness. So, and we're going to sing as you go. Jesus put this song into our hearts. <laughs>